So today I'm standing in a food plot and uh, it's going to be planted for a fall hunting plot. And what we have in here right now is some weeds. All right, we got some hawk's beard. Okay, we got some mare's tail. And you know, mare's tail is actually, uh, you know, the deer do eat it, but it, you know, can be, you know, not as beneficial as what we're going to have in here. So we'll uh, we'll eventually spray this, but first we'll mow it. So that way we got younger growth, so it's easier to kill. Although mare's tail can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, that being said, I also have a bunch of bagged leaves. All right. So what we're looking at doing is spreading this out today, and uh, you know it contains a lot of carbon, but over time it's going to break down and help improve the organic matter to the soil. Now keep in mind it's not going to be an overnight change, but that being said, we'll get this spread first. And, uh, and then we'll mow. Now this stuff really doesn't have the nitrogen levels in it, but it does have micronutrients. It's got some phosphorus and some potassium and such. But the greenery contains a lot of nitrogen. So by mixing the two together, um, we'll have better results. And like I said, we'll get it spread. Kind of a dirty job, but we'll get it spread. And then mow, and then come back here after we get some fresh growth. And then we'll spray, and then we'll prepare our fall food plot. So. Got to get to work. And you don't want it real thick. Because again, it's going to take a while for this stuff to break down. But basically, we're creating a compost right in the food plot. You wouldn't probably want to do this the same day that you're planting, but again, we've got a little bit of time. So I ended up having 19 bags of leaf mulch, and I got that spread, and now next I'm going to mow it. But I did mention a few of these weeds that are in here, and I also noticed I have some pigweed. And what I've noticed with the pigweed, here's one right here, is they're really short. Okay, and what that's telling me is that the deer are keeping the pigweed mulched down pretty hard and that the mare's tail is either not as desirable as the pigweed or more aggressively growing. But again, these are weeds and, you know, maybe you don't want them in your fall food plot, but they do provide deer nutrition during the summer. Long before we started doing food plots, deer, deer lived on this planet. So, um, you know, what did they eat during the summer? They ate weeds. The drawback to some of these weeds is they might not be as cold tolerant as to what you're going to be putting in your food plot. And in this case, this is going to have some brassicas as well as some winter rye. And then my, uh, my plan then would be frost seed it this winter with a clover. Now you kind of want to think not just what you're doing that season, but a couple seasons ahead at least. And that can allow you to come up with a crop rotation, which is good. You don't want to plant brassicas in the same field more than two years in a row. Uh, for one thing, you keep taking the same things out of the soil and not giving giving back, as well as disease. So, you know, I've grown soybeans in here. Now, this is a, a plot I established maybe five years ago and through some logging. You know, I left some of the oaks in here because they provide some, some mast as well as browse. You know, I've got one over here and, and, and a lot of these small ones here you can see that the deer just keep it nipped down, so they end up almost being a shrub. But that being said, um, I'm going to get it mowed now, and, uh, and then we'll come back with a herbicide after we get some new greenery growing, and then we'll get our fall, plant, fall plot planted.
So we got the mowing done, and so now we got the green from that vegetation with the brown from the leaves. So we're making organic matter or compost basically on top of the soil, which could help add some organic matter, some nutrients, and help the soil hold more fertilizer and, and moisture as well. And so again, the purpose of mowing this plot was more that we have younger weeds. So when we come back to spray it for our fall food plot planting, um, they're easier to kill. And so, you know, if it was a clover plot, if I'm mowing that, sometimes I'll mow that to control some of the weeds as well. But I generally like to stagger my mowing, meaning don't, don't clear the table, leave some food for the deer. And uh, I don't want to mow clover plots if it's hot and dry. And after I mow a clover plot, the other thing I'll generally do is add a little potash or 0060, 0062, whatever you can find there to help uh, stimulate more clover growth. But this will come along nicely.